um, birth businesses and we have um, done some great things and we have done some things that was not so pleasing to God in his sight. Many of us have walked away from things and we have sinned and we have partied and we have clubbed and we have gotten high, we have gotten drunk, we have done so many things but in the course of what we were doing God's overarching sovereignty kept us through it all. Y'all quiet, but I'm talking. Really, if, if, if you would have gotten what you have deserved, you wouldn't be sitting up off in here tonight. But the grace of God, I'm talking y'all back here, kept you from, from hurt, harm, and danger. I, I mean, really, we didn't even deserve to wake up this morning, but, but, but God touched us with his finger of love and said, get up, my child. I still love you. God didn't wake you up to mess you up. He woke you up because there's purpose in your life. There's a God-given destiny that God wants to pull out of you because there's something on, I feel preaching tonight. There's something on the inside of you that God is pulling out of you, but you got to yield to him. You got to be bent towards God. You got to make sure your relationship with him is legitimate, authentic. I ain't got no help here. And valid. So when God opened up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, you'll be able to say, God did it. I ain't got no help here. I'm preaching tonight. And then you will not be in a posture of arrogance and pride. When God bless you, you don't want to get puffed up and begin to forget where you come from. Ah, y'all, those who forget where they come from, consider they're destined to return. Ah, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. I I'll never forget how jacked up, how messed up I was. I didn't always wear a suit and tie. I didn't always have it like I have it that day. Sometimes I had to cry in the midnight hour. Sometimes I had to go through and nobody understood. But late in the midnight hour, God turned it around. God made ways out of, I'm preaching tonight, out of no way. That's why I'm here today. It was the grace of God. And you can tell it for yourself. You know you don't deserve to be here tonight. You know you should be dead six feet under. But God spared your life. He helped you when you needed to be helped. When the trouble came, he raised up a standard. When folk walked out of your life, he was your company keeper. When your marriage was jacked up, he spoke the life into it. And now you see something glorious and radiant of God. And you ought to be thankful every chance you get. You ought to clap those little hands. Every chance you get, you ought to open your mouth and bless his name. Every chance you get, you ought to thank God. Because if it had not been, come on, help me preach it. Well, for God on my side, I would have flipped out. I would have had a murderous breakdown. I would have lost my mind. But I'm still here. And I'm not only still here, I'm smiling through it. I ain't got no help here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I dare you right now to smile through that situation. Smile through that drama. Smile through that education. And watch God turn it around. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, in 24 hours, God gonna turn it around. Stop crying. Because weeping may endure for a night. But joy coming in the book I need. Somebody help me here. High five your neighbor. Say, neighbor, 